Keegan Channel. Today we're at Goodrich Park and I'm talking to Mike about the free fishing contest for the kids, correct? Yes. Can you tell me about the event? I am super, super excited. Me, my family and I really like the outdoors. So when I heard about this, I just knew I had to find out more. Well, our organization is the White Lake Area Sports Fishing Association. We formed 35 years ago. And part of our goal at that time was to enhance the white, the white, um, I say white, the walleye fishery here in White Lake. Okay. Which we did, and uh, it's everything is uh, bounded from there. Uh, it was 31 years ago we had our first kids fishing contest. <clears throat> we had a total probably of a dozen kids. Last year <coughs> we had a. Uh, 207 kids that weighed in, weighed yeah, fish in, and uh, how many more registered or whatever, but uh, we figure that we had a neighborhood of total 350 people here. That's a good turnout. Uh, <coughs> it's uh, rebounded to that point. We, uh, of course, this year we expect more. Uh, kids will, kid-wise, uh, maybe uh, 250. So. And for the, the groups, I see that we're doing three separate age groups, uh, 3 to 6, 7 to 10, and 11 to 16, is that correct? Correct. Okay. And when we're splitting them up, I've seen that the prizes are giving based on gender in those groups for the top 10. Can you explain that to me? Cause I Well, because we have so many kids that do register, we have, of course, boys and girls. Right. So we, yeah, we are doing a girls division in each age group okay. plus a boys division. So are you going to do five and five and that makes no, you gonna, ten? We're going to do ten and ten. Okay, perfect. Uh, there's uh, ten first places, so to speak, <clears throat> and each will be awarded, well, basically awarded about the same thing. But uh, yeah, we're doing a age gender okay. difference. Okay. And that works, uh, they seem to be tickled about it. <laughs> So. I know. I have two girls and a boy. My youngest isn't old enough, but my two girls are super, super excited to come and, and do that. All right. Good, good. We, uh, we are welcome to see you come. And there are some rules about it. Can you explain well, the rules to me? <clears throat> Basically, because it's free fishing weekend, you can fish without having to have a license. But all the other fishing rules apply. Right. You know, you have your limits on length limits and of course number of fish you can catch so and the other limitation is that we're right here at the goodrich park marina mm -hmm. uh unfortunate the kids can't off the dock off the dock so they can fish on the far west okay of that dock there uh, all the way from our marine uh sports shop property uh armstrong's they'll make a fish here there all the way over to the trestle okay. bridge at uh, the rail trail. They can do it from there, all the way along the shore, over here. And then down the down the way, there's a place called the Lions Den. Also another public access okay. that the DNR set up. Uh, they have a there. But at that, of course, everything's from the shore, basically. And are you only allowed to fish on shore, or if you have on a boat, only shore fishing. Liability and availability. Right. We don't have to give somebody a disadvantage for being able to fish somewhere on the lake where gotcha. you know 95% of the kids are going to be fishing from shore. On the shore. Yeah. Everybody has the same chance. Right, so. and I seen that you have fishing equipment available based yes, on first do. come first serve. Yeah, and usually we have enough for everybody. Okay. You know, so if a parent doesn't have any equipment, bring your Don't kids. Don't worry in about it. Just we'll, hurry up, we'll up, and, up and get yeah. here. And registration per is seven to seven 10? to ten. Okay. And <clears throat> yeah, and that's here. free as well. Yeah, everything's free. Kids is families or whatever there's no cost to them whatsoever okay. baits provide we provide the bait okay and lunch and plus uh gifts for the great we uh if they don't place in the division there'll be a grab bag for everybody that's nice and everybody will get something so 
I like that. Uh, Can you, you tell me a little bit more about um, what you do other than just this free fishing weekend? Well, our, our club basically, like I said, talked about the walleye. Right. Uh, our club started 35 years ago. We actually had our own hatchery with the blessing of the DNR. We had some of those good. People were, uh, got together in the evening over a beer or whatever, decided this is what we wanted to do. Well, we had, to, we had a couple doctors, so to speak, in the group. We approached the DNR. They provided us with eggs. We built our own little hatchery. And we used a rearing pond. Once the walleye fry are born, they're about a quarter of an inch long. So they need to go into a pond. They need to feed, eat, and then when they reach about minnow size, about an inch, inch and a half long, then they're, we harvest and they're released in the whatever body of water uh, we can. So you're helping keep the walleye population going. Yes, the unfortunate part <clears throat> for West Michigan, the rivers, the water's too cold. The waters are terrific for steelhead, salmon, and whatnot, but they're not good for walleye reproduction. So basically, long story short, your the good walleye fishery we have on this side of the state, close to probably 98% of those walleyes are, are, hatched. are hatched and reared by a club like ours. We uh, help the DNR, they have a rearing pond uh, in the Muskegon River Flats down by the Muskegon game area. Once a week we take fertilizer down. Fertilizer goes in the water to enhance zooplankton and, gotcha. and whatever that the walleye fry feed on. Uh, we will be harvesting the 6th of June this year. Last year that pond yielded over 500,000 uh, minnows, walleye minnows. And they went from St. Joe all the way up to uh, Silver Lake. So we had, uh, you know, several bodies of water got the walleye finger Well, thank you. Thank you for what you're doing for the, the children that are here in West Michigan and for the fishery that's going on. I really appreciate it. Well, one other thing we do have for the children is we have an information meeting, so to speak. Um, it would be the weekend before the great fishing weekend of February. Fishing. The kids come in, we have different, four different areas. Kids go in, they learn about ice fishing, they learn about fish identification. There's a uh, cast, they can cast and learn how to tie hooks. Uh, different knots for right. fishing. So, uh, and then, then, then again, there are prizes getting awarded then. And they can just go to the White Lake Sport Fishing to learn more about that? Yeah. They ought to be advertised, especially through the uh, White Lake Education Community. Uh, okay. They handle our registration. So. Okay. So for this event, though, it's going to be um, Saturday, June 10th, correct? Yes. And it's going to be registration from 7 to 10, and weigh we in, have to weigh in at noon. Well, weigh in starts at 10, and this year we did get a second scale, so weigh in will go. Until quite noon. a bit faster. Okay. We hope to have all, everybody weighed in by noon and then because when we weigh in all the weights are put on a it's viewed on a 55 inch TV so everybody gets basically can look and see what it is. Uh, and we say bring in anything if you catch a little coffee about two inches long please bring it in and weigh it in and you're entitled. Thank you. And I can't wait to start and join in on this. I know my kids are so excited. Well, you're more than welcome. So thank you for joining us here at Goodridge Park. I'm Gabrielle signing off for the Muskegon Channel. Mm -hmm.